How's it going everybody? Delgado here and today I'm coming to you and uh, we're talking about the book of Proverbs and the reading and actually I wanted to uh, talk about this book today. It's been recommended by tons of people and uh, tons of churches and everything else because it is in the Bible and um, what I wanted to do is come to you today and kind of let you know what I kind of took out of it and uh, why I think you should read it. It's definitely a fantastic read. Right off the bat, yes, you should read it. But some of the key takeaways that I took is um, one of the biggest ones was the, the seductress. Um, basically what it says is Proverbs cautions you to avoid the seductress. Why would you trade enduring intimacies for cheap thrills? Well, what is the seductress in your business life? What opportunities seem really tempting but will will yield only a one-time gain, no enduring benefit? And that is the seductress. And basically what I wanted to bring to you today is, you know, how many times do you feel you see that, um, that next big thing, that thing that you must have, something that the gurus are telling you is going to change the, change the face of marketing and whatnot and going to have you rake in riches overnight? Um, that shiny ball syndrome, that's what is a big takeaway here. Um, avoid the seductresses. Um, basically, if you just stick to something and do it over and over and over and become good at it and then eventually are able to teach it, then that's the way you want to build your wealth, depending on what you're doing. Now again, I'm kind of talking to the small business owners, um, the entrepreneurs, the uh, network marketers, the internet marketers, the MLM folk. Um, the main thing is, is focus on one thing, become very, very good at it, start teaching you and the riches will come. Don't keep you know, looking here, looking there, doing all kinds of crazy things. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Up, but basically there's the dog in there. There's, anytime someone mentions squirrel, he's like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Well, basically that's what you're doing if you go ahead and try to chase every single program that comes out, every single technique that comes out, million Twitter followers overnight, 10,000 Facebook fans um, in two hours and stuff like that. So definitely don't fall into that that's what they call the seductress and I wanted to bring that to your attention in the book of Proverbs they mentioned that um, another thing that I highlighted for sure in here is you know that discipline is the key that's the main thing people have to realize I know we live in this drive-through add water um, microwave society but the thing is discipline is key pride comes before the fall okay so don't overdo it humility humility comes before the honor that is just powerful okay open yourself up let people know what you're doing you know one one of the key takeaways for me is hey I don't live in a huge house fancy house anything like that million million dollar home yet um, as you can see back here my backdrop is my bed and uh, my floor basically um, so don't matter where you're at or what you're doing just do it get started and go from there you don't have to be extraordinary yet start ordinary and become extraordinary that's how it happens Another thing is, the main thing is, is when you're doing something, have a higher purpose. I don't care if you don't believe in what I believe or I hope you believe in something. But, you know, one of the final words here in the book of Proverbs is, Mortals make elaborate plans, but God has the last word. Your success is not just about you, it's about the world you live in. Okay? Think about that. Ponder it. Do something. Alright? Make a change. Start with the man in the mirror. Alright? I'll talk to you guys later. This is my summary and um, I'll come back to you. Subscribe to this channel so that you can go ahead and, and um, get information once I post out a new video in, in books that I've read or books that I'm reviewing and uh, see how it ties into small business, entrepreneurship, internet marketing, network marketing, and MLM. Okay? Subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you guys soon.